It's no secret that the United States is experiencing a mass migration. People are moving all over the country in search of better opportunities. According to address change request data from the United States Postal Service, permanent address change requests jumped 3.3% to over 10.2 million between 2020 and 2021. 2022 saw similar results. These are the 10 top states people are fleeing. 1. New Jersey. New Jersey tops the list of states with the most outbound migration. Out of all moves the state experienced, 71% were leaving. Maybe New Jersey's tax environment will shed some light on why its people are clamoring to get out. The income tax for the state's top earners is 10.75%. The Garden State also hosts the highest corporate income tax in the country at 11.5%, with companies observing steep increases in this metric since 2017. However, the costly tax rates don't end there. New Jerseyans also suffer from expensive sales, estate, and inheritance taxes. Want to hear something scary? According to Bloomberg. The average resident of New Jersey will fork out more than $930,000 in taxes in their lifetime. With these metrics, it's no secret why Jersey was also named the worst state for business for four years in a row survey by WalletHub. 2. Illinois. Illinois has been witnessing a significant population decline for years. With 67% of moves outbound, those leaving have quality of life concerns, including crime, traffic, and weather. However, it goes deeper. For the quality of life, the tax rates are extreme. Like Jersey, the tax rates are a main impetus for leaving. Illinois' hub, Chicago, has the second highest combined sales tax rate in the country at 10.25%. Illinois also levies extremely expensive property taxes forcing its citizens away from property ownership. The state of Illinois also carries hundreds of billions in outstanding debt. As a result, the taxes will not likely decrease any time soon. But beyond the taxes, Chicago is not safe. The city has the worst crime rates it ever has and that's saying something. Fears of criminal outbursts are driving away businesses, locals, and tourists alike. Illinois also consistently earns a spot on the list of the worst states for business. Eleven years in a row, it may as well wave a red flag and scream, stay away. 3. New York. The state is notorious for extreme expenses and strict regulations. Despite being one of our country's epicenters of business and culture, citizens are rushing to get away. New York experienced 63% outbound migration in 2021. The cost of living is not sustainable for most Americans, forcing them to search for greener, and more affordable, pastures. And why shouldn't they? Anyone who has been to New York or Manhattan lately was hit in the face with grossly inflated expenses. Oh, and there's the crime. Oh, and if it wasn't bad enough that it's not safe, good luck finding affordable living. In NY's unofficial capital, Manhattan where average home prices in 2020 were $2.2 million. For comparison, this is almost 10 times more expensive than average home prices in Texas. In Texas you get beautiful weather year-round, low taxes, and easier regulations, not to mention, safety, all for a fraction of the price of New York. With average monthly rents in Manhattan topping $5,000, it's no wonder New Yorkers are moving quickly. Unfortunately, this is not an isolated phenomenon. People are no longer willing to put up with outrageous overhead anymore, and with good reason. 4. Connecticut. More bad news for the tri-state area. Connecticut is fourth on the list with 60% outbound migration. The state has seen significant relocations since COVID, but truthfully, it has been experiencing a population decline since 2011. This is in part due to outbound migration but also declining birth rates. With most leaving for better job opportunities or to be closer to family, taxes certainly don't help. Connecticut residents are subject to a collective burden of 12.6% when various state and local taxes are considered. In a lifetime, this will cost the average person $805,000. The population in Connecticut is also changing. According to the Connecticut Commission for Economic Growth and Stability, the state has been losing disproportionate numbers of high earners and entrepreneurs and they're largely being replaced by unskilled workers. 5. California. The moves out of California should come as no secret. Like NY, California is notorious for its unreasonable prices. 
The cost of living requirements are unlivable for many Americans, at nearly 1.5 times the national average. As a result, California is slowly and surely driving away its natives and corporations with skyrocketing expenses. Despite the allure of cities like LA, San Francisco, and San Diego, 59% of Californian moves were outbound. This reveals that the tide is turning. Areas that used to draw in talent bases are now pushing them away at exponential rates. It's not only the outrageous living costs and taxes making the state unlivable. The state is becoming crime-ridden, and those braving the changing environment are fed up. San Franciscan citizens were so frustrated by dangerous crime and homelessness that they recalled their district attorney. On top of the crime, how about wildfires? Why would anyone in their right mind want to pay such expenses for all that mess? Of course more people are leaving than entering. 6. Massachusetts. Like many states on this list, outward migration is nothing new. Massachusetts has been actively losing residents for the last 20 years, and the people leaving represent a significant loss of wealth, according to the Boston Herald. Massachusetts has seen a net loss of $20 billion to other states, especially New Hampshire and Florida where taxes are much lower. What does this say about how populations are changing? We aren't talking a few people leaving we're talking $20 billion of people leaving. Why how about taxes, extreme cost of living, expensive gas? The taxes in Massachusetts are so severe that average citizens will pay $827,000 in taxes over a lifetime. For corporations, Massachusetts is accused of being anti-business. But, like in New York and California, the significant concern is the cost of living. Massachusetts capital Boston is among the top 1% most expensive cities in the world. 7. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania's decline of 18,000-plus households recently directly results from job losses resulting from the pandemic. The state's sometimes sketchy weather doesn't help either. Many families are seeking better employment odds in nearby states, while a considerable number of them are taking the opportunity to head for warmer weather and a lower cost of living. 8. Washington. Former Washington residents are finding refuge from the state's skyrocketing cost of living in places like Oregon and Idaho. Oregon's cost of living is 7% cheaper, while Idaho boasts the lowest cost of living among the western states. With the ever-deepening housing crisis and the ability for many to work from home, it's no wonder the Evergreen State experienced a loss of over 13,000 families last year. 9. Colorado. Once considered a swing state, Colorado's politics have shifted towards the left in recent years. Conservatives leaving the state for Texas and Arizona are on the move. Overall, 12,145 families left Colorado last year, and politics was just one small factor. The high cost of living and out-of-reach real estate prices continue to drive would-be homebuyers out of the area, while traffic congestion, increasing crime rates and pollution seal the deal for many deciding to leave. 10. Indiana. Indiana's overall population loss of nearly 12,000 families last year is a result of lower-than-average pay. Despite the state's low cost of living, Indiana's neighboring states pay better. Those looking for substantial pay increases are looking elsewhere. Another factor in the decline is the state's taxing of retirement income. Retired people on a fixed income may see better options outside of Indiana. 